Hey there, Adrian here from PyramidSearch.com. And today, I wanna do something a little bit special, giving an exclusive behind the scenes tour of my office. Come on, let's take a look. As you can see, I work from home, so my office is no more than a few steps away. Every morning I wake up, make myself a cup of coffee, and head straight into work. Let's take a sip now. It's good. All right, on to the office. I'm gonna open this door, and we'll start our tour. As you can see, my office isn't very big, but what it lacks in size, it more than makes up for in content. Let's continue looking around. The workhorse of my office is undoubtedly the NVIDIA DevBox. This machine sports four Titan X GPUs, 64 gigabytes of RAM, a core i7 processor running at 3.5 gigahertz, a 250 gigabyte SSD for system files, and three three terabyte hard drives configured in RAID 5 for storing large data sets. At max load, the dev box can consume up to 1300 watts, comparable to high-end microwaves. Because of this, I've racked the dev box along with an APC uninterrupted power supply. Right now, I'm using two of the four GPUs to train SqueezeNet on the internet data set. After seeing the NVIDIA dev box, you're probably wondering, do I need such a powerful machine to get started with deep learning? The answer is no, you don't. Realistically, to get started, all you need is your CPU. You can work with small data sets and shallow networks, and this will be more than enough to teach you the basics of deep learning. From there, you can graduate to deeper networks and larger data sets. And yeah, you will need a GPU for that, but that's okay. You can cross that bridge when you get there. The most important thing you can do right now is take your first step in your deep learning journey. My actual workstation is a 13-inch MacBook Pro connected to a Thunderbolt display. If I need to access my dev box or any of the Amazon EC2 instances, I simply SSH into them. As far as programs that I have pulled up, for large projects I, I like to use PyCharm. It's a great IDE and it's really helpful. As for experiments, I organize everything into Evernote. It makes it so easy to add graphs, plots, figures, and have it all searchable. It's a really handy tool and if you're doing any type of research, give Evernote a try. I think you might like it. I also use this workstation whenever I'm working with real-time video. For example, let's take a look at this convolutional neural network that I trained a little while ago to recognize facial expressions in video streams. As you can see here, my face is displayed as neutral, but I could also be happy, surprised, angry, or back to happy. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour of my office, and it's about time for me to get back to work. But before I go, I just wanted to mention to you that I'm writing a new book on deep learning and computer vision. Whether it's the first time you've worked with neural networks or machine learning, or you're already a seasoned deep learning practitioner, my new book is engineered from the ground up to help you master deep learning. To pre-order your copy, just click the link below. I really appreciate your support, because without you, Pi and Search would not be possible. Thank you again, and I'll see you later.